Well, here we have a different creature with spots. You can see hidden in the longest of long grass is Inkanyeni. Now, for those of you who don't know Inkanyeni, who have been watching this week, you may have seen her son, Vitumi, who's been hanging around, and so she's in this area, and I believe she's got a kill to the north of us on Inkoro, and she's come this way and has started calling. Now, the reason why that really is quite exciting is because I spoke to some of the guides, and they tell me that she might have suckle marks, which would be not for Vitumi. Vitumi would be off. He's not on milk at all, so maybe she's got brand new little cubs that she could potentially be looking for now that she's got this carcass. So we're going to try and spend some time with her this evening. But isn't that incredible camouflage? It's almost impossible to see her. The only reason she was seen is because she was walking away from the carcass and they followed her to this point where she then blends into the grass like that. And if you drove past here, there is in no ways that you would spot this leopard. It is almost impossible to see. It actually took Sebastian and I a good four or five minutes to actually spot where it was. We were driving around her and we couldn't see her at all. So and you can see she's tucked in and you can see she's breathing quite quickly. So her head is rocking from side to side and that's because she's probably eaten a little bit. So she's just built up a bit of excess heat and is now just trying to digest that as well as it's pushing up on her lungs and making her take much shorter breaths. But you can see the whiskers there. So if her eye opens, we'll have a beautiful shot of the eye through the grass. So Sebastian is doing sterling work because it's really very, very difficult to see anything. It's just a kind of blur of grass and then every now and then an ear that twitches. You can see the ears moving every now and then and it's because of the biting flies that are landing on those ears. Because she's consumed a bit of meat, you probably find that those flies are attracted to the smell of that meat and they then land on her ears and around her face and they give her a little bit of a hard time. Also, she is listening very intently to everything that is going on. So every time there's a sort of movement in the grass, because of how much wind we've got, there's lots of rustling and I'm sure she doesn't want to get caught unawares and that's why she keeps twitching those ears. It just shows you how difficult it can be to find this animal. Everyone always thinks that leopards should be easy to spot with that black and white, I mean those black dots all over them and they sort of quite light coloration. But you can see this, this is an adult female leopard and if we come out and show you how well she actually blends in, it is almost impossible to see it. There is just her ear and her spots and as Sebastian comes out you'll see that she just absolutely blends in. Now you can imagine that's the point of view that we have, it's almost impossible to see that cat. So that is not even, I would say, five, six feet from us. You can see it's just over my shoulder and it is impossible to see her. So really, really difficult. But what I have noticed, Seb, which might be quite nice, is this beautiful sunset behind us while we're waiting for her to get up. So ah, Alice is in my ear and she's just saying that Taylor has a beautiful sunset. So we'll show ours quickly and then we'll go across to Taylor and see whether her sunset is better. It's beautiful.